Welcome back friends. Uh, in this video we will be talking about the difference between using adapter and linker. So difference between linker and adapter DNA. Okay. Now this use of this linker and adapter DNA can be seen in case of molecular biology in case of the recombinant DNA technology techniques. Now why we require linker and adapter? The use of linker and adapter is to solve the same purpose. For example, uh, suppose we are having a DNA here. We are having a DNA. Now we treat this DNA with a restriction enzyme. After treating this DNA with a restriction enzyme, we get the fragment, right? So the fragment that we get in this case this fragment is suppose non compatible for example say this is our gene uh, somewhere here we are having our gene of interest for example say this black region is our gene of interest and we are also having our vector ready so say this is our vector which is completely ready sorry it's a mistake So, so say this is this is a vector and this is the gene of our interest so I just write it as gene gene of our interest now what we need to do we treat this vector with a restriction enzyme and it generates a cohesive end like that we also need to treat this gene with the same restriction enzyme okay now for example say in this case we don't have we don't have any uh, restriction enzyme side. The same is suppose we treat this part of the section with the eco R1 restriction enzyme and we get this gap, this cohesive events. So the formula for treating restriction enzyme is that you must treat both this case of vector DNA as well as of gene of interest with the same type of restriction enzyme so that you get the compatible end so that the product that we get easily can be ligated, right? But in this case, what we get. E. coli uh, produce this kind of structure for vector is fine, but there is no no restriction site for E. coli here, no RE site here. As a result of uh, less RE site for restriction enzyme E. coli R1 in this case, there are other restriction sites. Say other for Bam H1, there is a restriction site, but no restriction site for E. coli R1. So uh, so how can we cut this? To produce the compatible end so that we can attach this to this vector that's the question right to solve this puzzle we simply treat it with the other restriction enzyme for example say BAM H1 we just treat it with BAM H1 or some other restriction enzyme which generates blunt end uh, BAM H1 uh, I don't know whether it generates blunt end or not but still suppose it generates or enzyme uh, say restriction enzyme number two here it generates a blunt end so what it generates is generates a blunt end. So we get our gene of interest in our hand. So this is our gene. But remember this is blunt end. But the vector that we got is a of cohesive end. So we cannot join this gene with this vector easily using this ligation, right? So what we need to do, we need to make the terminal of this gene such a way that it can be ligated with this vector, right? So what we can do, we can do two different approach. We can actually we can modify this. So how can we do this? We can modify this gene. Say this is the gene of our interest. We can modify it by just attaching segment sorry, like that. Like that. So if we attach these two red segments like that in this case. These two segments for example the structure of the segments will be like that like that so if we attach these segments this segment will help this gene to be get to get the structure in such a way so that we can take it and put it there right so this is the presence and importance of a linker or adapter linker or adapter gene but what is the difference between linker and adapter now if we get this kind of sequences in the medium and it forms some structure like that usually these are called adapters 
because these are short segments which are already prepared in such a way so that if we can attach them if we can attach them with our uh, gene it will ligate now what we need to do we need to ligate this part say say this is a part and obviously this is a part so both of them are blunt end remember this is also blunt this is also blunt so we need to add DNA ligase which can seal the blunt end and we know the DNA ligase that can seal blunt end is T4 ligase so you can provide T4 ligase and it will convert it into this structure right so this thing can be done and these segments are called adapters and the important feature about adapters is that the adapter sequence is having something like that say A, G, G, C say C, G, T, A like that ok and in this case say T, C, C, G, G for example this is the structure of an adapter now if I draw the schematic of it it will look like this isn't it so this is an adapter now for this adapter say this is the 5 prime this is the 3 prime 3 prime hydroxyl and this is 3 prime this is 5 prime this is also hydroxyl now what we know that C prime usually contains hydroxyl but 5 prime hydroxyl this is something new right why we get a 5 prime hydroxyl instead of a 5 prime phosphate the answer is there was a phosphate but we treat this using alkaline phosphatase to remove that phosphate now as we remove so dephosphorylation is done in adapters so that what we get is dephosphorylated ends the cohesive end that we get uh, is dephosphorylated as a result of that no two adapter molecule can self ligate so we can block the self ligation remember these are this can be compatible as self ligators right so if we have this thing if we have this section and obviously if we have this two adapters so they can easily ligate with each other to form a structure like that right so this is adapter say one this is adapter two they can form structure like that but we are blocking this activity due to the dephosphorylation so as a result of this dephosphorylation no linkage or no binding between the adapters is possible so this is called the self inactivation or self binding inactivation for adapters okay so this is about adapters but what about linkers now the linker DNA are also say this is our gene of interest now for the linker we can also have this we have to make this kind of structure in case of linker we do it a little bit different way so if this is the gene of our interest what we provide there we provide some some blunt end DNA sequences some blunt end DNA now this blunt end DNA are specified or specific type of DNAs because they are having RE site. Now this blunt end DNA carries the RE site for eco R1 in this case. So the first step of reaction will be attachment. Say this is the gene. Attachment of this blunt ends with the gene of our interest. Attachment is carried out due to the presence of T4 ligase because they can join the blunt end DNA. So we get this structure and we know that somewhere middle there is eco R1 site in this case. So eco R1 site is present, we all know that. So then we treat it with eco R1 enzyme. After treating it with eco R1 enzyme, what we get? We get our gene of interest and and structure like that we get this okay so we get both the, this kind of structure in both the cases but having different approaches okay so remember in this case we, when you provide this blunt end and obviously t4 ligase there is a possibility for the self ligation of blunt end dna's right so that's that's why usually adapter dna's are much more preferable over linker dna because linker dna can self ligate so I'm, I must write it here, it can 
सेल्फ लाइगेट बट एडोप्टेड डीएनए सेल्फ लाइगेशन इज ब्लॉक्ड इन केस ऑफ एडोप्टेड डीएनए दैट्स वाई एडोप्टेड डीएनए इज बेटर देन द लिंक डीएनए ओके सो दैट्स इट आई होप दैट्स हेल्पफुल थैंक यू